Welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes, where we come together to listen, relax, and gradually drift off to sleep. I'm Noah, and it's my pleasure to be your host tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Tonight, we'll continue following Ben and Crystal on their magical journey in search of Poseidon's lost trident. If you missed the first episode on Monday or can't quite recall what happened last time, don't worry. We'll start with a quick recap to ensure you're as comfortable as possible in bed. Take a deep, slow breath in and gently exhale. Find a comfortable rhythm. Begin to imagine yourself right in this peaceful moment, your body surrounded by a warm, serene energy. With the next deep breath, absorb this light. With the exhale, feel the release of tension, letting go of anything that hinders your peace. Gradually, bit by bit, let yourself be filled with peace, love, and come with every deep breath. This warm and tranquil essence fills you more and more. Imagine it, feel it, even if just a little. Now that you're very relaxed, let me take you back to the first part of our story. A young man named Ben Travel to the Spanish island of Mallorca. On the beach, he encountered the sea god Poseidon, who had lost his precious golden trident. Poseidon asked Ben to help him find it. With the aid of a special guide, a magical shapeshifter named Crystal, so far, there's been no sign of the trident. After searching the nearby woods, Ben and Crystal spent the night in a cozy cave. Let's now join them, ready to continue their search. Ben slowly wakes up, feeling the gentle brush of wings on his skin. When he opens his eyes, he sees Crystal transform into a glowing firefly hovering above him. Light is increasing at the cave entrance indicating the rising sun. It's time to wake up. To Ben's surprise, he feels very rested, ready to continue yesterday's search. As Crystal flies out of the cave, Ben gets up to follow. Outside the cave, he sees the sun not fully risen, its edge touching the water, covered in a soft golden glow. The sky is like a canvas painted from bottom to top. Near the horizon, the sun's golden rays like strokes of orange, orange gradually blending into pale, yellow, then into soft blue. The top of the sky is like a painting made with deep blue strokes. It's a beautiful sunrise, giving bent hope for the new day. He feels so peaceful, standing there for a moment, appreciating the view. Ben also notices the pleasant soundscape of chirping birds and the gentle rolling of distant waves. He enjoys this serene soundscape, taking a deep breath of the morning beach air. Filling his lungs, he closes his eyes immersing himself in this peaceful atmosphere. After a moment, Crystal returns to Ben's side, her movements filled with urgency, making Ben understand he needs to follow her. Crystal leads him to a spot under a tree, where the ground is covered with fresh fruit, apricots, oranges, and grapes, and a large watermelon Ben's eyes light up. He thanks Crystal and starts eating. Each bite of fruit melts in his mouth, 
The apricots are sweet and delicious. The oranges are the juiciest he's ever tasted. And the grapes are very soft and sweet. And the large watermelon, juicy and refreshing. The intense fragrance of all the fruits enhances their wonderful taste. It's not just a breakfast, but a feast. After finishing, Crystal starts flying towards the sea. At first, Ben is confused, not understanding what she wants. Then Crystal enters the water, transforming into her other form, a beautiful fish. Ben walks into the shallow water, continuing to follow Crystal. The little fish begins to emit a wavy light. Once deep enough, Ben submerges his face in the water, hoping to understand Crystal better. He sees an amazing underwater scene. Crystal's colors are even more vibrant underwater, making her mesmerizing. Ben is in awe of the shimmering blue-green glow, but then he sees an even more spectacular sight. The light on her is also glowing pointing in different directions. Finally, Ben understands. Crystal wants them to explore different areas of the ocean. But for that, he needs diving gear. Luckily, he remembers seeing a diving school not far away. Without hesitation, Ben rents all the necessary equipment. Soon, He's back in the water where Crystal is floating. They're ready to begin searching for the trident. Ben touches one of Crystal's light beams, indicating the direction he thinks they should go first. Immediately, they are both transported to another part of the ocean, just like Poseidon's magical maps is. is. With the power of teleportation, Ben can see they're now far from the shore, but as a trained diver, he feels comfortable and safe. Moreover, these waters are particularly clear, providing good visibility. As Ben and Crystal dive deeper into this area, the light dims, but they can still see their surroundings thanks to the sunlight penetrating the surface. Continuing their dive, they encounter several sea creatures, such as eels, tuna, and clownfish, even an octopus, its tentacles moving gracefully, the suckers on its tentacles like pearls. What an elegant creature, Ben thinks. They dive deeper, discovering brightly colored coral reefs their detailed patterns and structures making them look like architectural art. Here, Ben finds his favorite creatures, sea slugs, also known as new beerants. He loves their beautiful, exotic, and bright colors. His favorite new debrank looks like a painter's work, lemon green with canary yellow spots. Its head adorned with larger light blue spots, surrounded by yellow rings. Although Ben often dives, the beauty he sees underwater always takes his breath away. Every time he sees these coral reefs and nude barrens, he is in awe. He gazes at these coral reefs and nude barrens, contemplating the wonders of nature until Crystal approaches him, reminding him why they are there. Ben begins searching within the coral reefs, finding nothing. They even dive to the bottom of the area, digging in the sand, but find no sign of the golden rident. Then Crystal emits a new light beam. When Ben touches it, he finds himself suddenly transported to the entrance of an underwater cave. 
the smooth teleportation still feels surreal, but he's getting used to it. This underwater cave has a wide entrance, making it easy to explore. Small, colorful fish swim in the area. Ben swims slowly to avoid disturbing them. Entering the cave, he begins to look around. First, he runs his hands along the inner and outer walls of the cave, then dives to the bottom, digging in the sand. But still, he finds no trident. Crystal swims to him, emitting another light beam. Upon touching it, Ben is surprised to find himself sitting on the beach. Crystal has transformed back into a firefly, but this time, Instead of taking Ben to the next location, she hovers beside him, her wings fluttering. Perhaps she's thinking about where to search next. At this point, Ben removes his diving gear. Just after he removes it, Crystal starts flashing in front of him, pulsing like a strobe light. This must mean something because Crystal has never flash like this before. Perhaps she knows where the Triton is. After a moment, Crystal starts flying along the beach, her wings still flashing, and Ben gets up to follow her. They head towards a small town, and Ben can't help but wonder where Crystal is taking him. When she finally stops and hovers in the air, Ben looks around, puzzled. Behind him, he can see a parking lot. In front of him is a small restaurant. He asks himself why they are here, but then he notices an abandoned building on the side of the restaurant. It's an antique shop, filled with many old items and furniture. Ben walks towards the shop. Observing the fascinating antiques, the air inside the shop is filled with a sense of age, a dusty, woody scent, mixed with a faint mustiness, making it feel like traveling through time. The old items, some of which are styles he has never seen, make him ponder the stories behind these antiques. Wandering to the antique shop, Ben feels like an archaeologist, constantly discovering new things. As he approaches a wall at the back of the shop, he sees some interesting antique decorations. An old compass catches his eye. Its surface is covered in dust, but the direction it points to is still recognizable. It looks unique, clearly having a history. But what interests him most is an old, metallic trident decoration. And the wall, although it looks like an ordinary decoration, its details and exquisite craftsmanship make Ben think it might be Poseidon's trident. Ben can't be sure if it's the real trident, so he decides to examine it further. He carefully takes down the decoration from the wall, feeling its weight and material. Then he decides to bring it to Crystal for confirmation. Crystal looks at the decoration, emitting a bright light. What does it mean? Ben thinks. He hopes this is the trident they are looking for. Then, he feels a strong vibration coming from the trident. The entire building begins to tremble slightly. Ben realizes they have found the right thing. He decides to leave the shop immediately with the trident. As they step out of the antique shop, Crystal suddenly emits a blinding light. Then, they find themselves standing before Poseidon. Poseidon smiles with satisfaction. Thank you, Ben and Crystal. 
Poseidon says, his voice filled with majesty and gratitude, you have found my trident. Ben feels immense satisfaction. He and Crystal have completed this mission. Their efforts were not in vain. Poseidon takes the trident, and it immediately regains its golden glow. Then, he blesses Ben and Crystal, returning them to the beach on the island of Mallorca. They return to the real world, carrying new friendships and memories. Ben knows this adventure will remain in his memory forever. Meanwhile, he looks forward to more adventures in the future. He and Crystal know this is just the beginning of their journey. Take a deep breath, feeling the peace and satisfaction this wonderful journey brings. Let yourself be immersed in this feeling. Slowly, slowly, relax. Allow yourself to enter a deep and peaceful sleep. May you continue this adventure in your dreams. Good night.